democracy has to come from inside the people in their own particular setting, in their own country, the way they want it. You don't have to do high policy in order to make a difference. You begin to re-knit societies from literally the, the bottom levels up. There is a lot of hidden power amongst those people, ordinary citizens on the grassroots level. It's very hard to just sit in a room and say, cooperate. But if you actually have to do things together, build a house or get children to school or work on a particular program, that serves as a device to bring people together. It's about how creative we are, and it's about our wish to make some changes. We are driving to Mostar to meet Amira, Snežana, Ifeta, Mirena, and some other women who are ready to make better future for all of us. I think that they are proud and they are brave, they are tolerant and they are human. They are ready to change. It was active hatred of people going in and, and butchering people or pushing them out in the middle of the night or burning their houses. I remember, you know, flying over, you could see pinpoint ways that houses had been burned. It was just barbarism that was going on. And I, as a child of World War II, I thought, how could this possibly be happening again? My husband left for the funeral of my sister's husband. He was killed on the way there. My whole world fell apart. Everything that I ever wished for or hoped for or dreamed about was destroyed that day. It happened in 1993. My older daughter was 12 and my younger one, six. Just seven days later, my house was destroyed by mortar fire. My husband was in the Croatian army. Horrible things happened, really horrible. In 1992, he was pronounced missing. His whole brigade was besieged by Bosniak troops. For a month and a half, we didn't know what was happening to him. War changed everything. The people changed. The people migrated. They moved on places. Some people, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see them again. Mostar was a multi-ethnic town, and it, and in so many ways, what happened there is symbolized by this bridge. There was such concern that the Muslims might cross across the bridge that it was destroyed. Life has changed somehow. Those friends that we had then, and who we considered to be our true friends, were not friends anymore because of the war and what happened. The bridge has been rebuilt, but the town has not really come back together again. The city is dead. I hate the division. This is my country, where I live in. We have to cooperate. We have to resolve the issues. We have to talk about it. We have to communicate better. 
The hardest thing about what we're trying to do is to persuade people to build coalitions because if you've been in a position where you hate some other part of your society, then to decide that the only way to get ahead and to make things better is to form a coalition and to share power, that is a very difficult concept. And the ICE role at the beginning was to develop women's advocacy initiatives. We succeeded to put together 20 women from different NGOs and political parties that never like, had a chance to sit together and to talk about the issues of the common interest. The first meeting was absolute blast. It was like full of energy. I cannot say uh, was it like positive or negative energy, but it was full of energy. And they really fight each other. Almost aggressive, this almost started a fight. Uh, but Tanya and I, we understood that. We understood that they didn't have a chance to speak about any of to meet each other even before. These are not the women who are going to cry about the troubles. They're going to put up with these troubles and they're going to fight for it. At the first meeting, Tanya encouraged us to focus on one initiative. So we all agreed to push for a law that provides for paid maternity leave, a hot topic here. We talked about many problems, but we decided to start working on this one. You know how it is after war. Country is destroyed and husbands don't work. Working mothers depend on employers, which is the worst case that can happen in the poor country. The problem existed, but we didn't know how to solve it. After this initiative by NDI, things began to happen. Tanya and Vesna provided us with their support coming to our city many, many times and telling us what we were doing was right. We are on the road almost all the time. We spend a lot of time together on the road. We call ourselves the road runners. We are friends with those women. It's not all about work, it's about friendship as well. Without their support and optimism, we would not have moved as fast as we did. Media coverage is really important. Hussein accepted our call to join us. He used to be a journalist, so he knows a lot of people in media like radio and TV. The media was tracking what we agreed upon, what conclusions we made, and how we all managed to sit together and have conversations at the same table, on the same level. We, the common citizens, male and female, together with representatives of NGOs and local government. They are all really brave. It would really make their employers angry if they know that they are part of the initiative that, are, that is fighting for paid maternity leave. This is Ifeta's working colleague. Her name is Arnella and she doesn't have any income. The purpose of our visit is to speak with you about the issues you deal with as a mother with a young child. We are working on the initiative related to the law on protection of mothers with babies. That's why we've come here. We'd like to hear about those kinds of issues firsthand from you. They are refugees from Chapina. Her husband was wounded in the war. He has like really small income and she doesn't have any now. Like I hope when this law is passed that she'll get her salary back. I hope. If it is said like that, they are collecting money for her in the hospital, which is really sad. Almost all of the women from political parties in the city, women of different nationalities, Bosniaks, Serbs and Croats, have gathered around the same problem, trying to find a positive outcome. 
ultimately you need a party structure in order to get the message from the people to the rulers. And having that kind of structure, I think, is one of the major elements of democracy. To me, democracy means that an individual knows what his rights are and doesn't depend on another person's will, but instead relies upon his own rights and exercises them. After all the consultations, the working group decided to put the law as a women's initiative draft of the law and bring it to cantonal government for reviewing. It will be put on, a, on the agenda probably in 14 days. MPs will discuss that and will vote for that. We will continue fighting, even after the law is passed, because we'll fight for the full implementation of those rights. Then, we will start working on a different issue. Everyone should work on taking small steps that bring big changes. So at the first meeting, it was really hard to get them talking to each other. And right now, we cannot stop them. I feel proud as a Serb to work on a unification of Croats and Muslims in Mosul. It's, it's just perfect. I feel so optimistic about the future of this country.